I'm Marge Bone, and I'm reading Joshua 21. Cities for the Levites. The heads of the Levitical families approached Eleazar the priest, Joshua, Nun's son, and the heads of the families of the Israelite tribes. They spoke to them at Shiloh and the land of Canaan. The Lord gave a command through Moses to give us cities to live in and their pasture lands for our cattle. So the Israelites gave the Levites the following cities and their pasture lands out of their own legacy. This was in agreement with the Lord's command. The lot went out for the clans of the Kohabites. The descendants of Aaron the priest from among the Levites acquired 13 cities by lot from the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin. The rest of the descendants of Kohath acquired 10 cities by lot from the clans of the tribes of Ephraim, Dan, and half of Manasseh. The descendants of Gershon acquired 13 cities by lot from the clans of the tribes of Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and half of Manasseh, Lokit, and Bashan. The descendants of Mariari acquired 12 cities for their clans from the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the Israelites gave these cities and their pasture lands to the Levites by lot, exactly as the Lord had commanded through Moses. They gave the following cities, identified here by name, from the tribes of the Judeites and the tribe of the Simeonites. The cities belonged to the descendants of Aaron, one of the Kohathite clans of the Levites, because the lot had fallen to them first. They gave them Kerith, Erbeth, that is Hebron, in the highlands of Judah and the pastures around it. Erba was the father of Anak but they had already given the fields of the city and its surrounding areas to Caleb, Jephunneh's son, as his property. To the descendants of Aaron the priest they gave Hebron, the refuge city for a killer, and its pastures, Labna and its pastures, Jatter and its pastures, Ethiamoa and its pastures, Holon and its pastures, Deborah and its pastures, and Beth Shemesh and its pastures, told from these two tribes nine cities, from the tribe of Benjamin, Gideon, and its pastures, Geba and its pastures, Anatoth and its pastures, and Elmon and its pastures, in total four cities. This is the total of all the cities of the priests descended from Aaron, thirteen cities with their pastures. Other clans from the Levitical descendants of Kohath still remain from among the descendants of Kohath. Some of their allotted cities were from the tribe of Ephraim. They gave them Shechem, the refuge city for a killer, and its pastures in the highlands of Ephraim, Gezer and its pastures, Kibzeam and its pastures, and Beth Horon and its pastures, in total four cities. From the tribe of Dan, Altiki and its pastures, Gibbethon and its pastures, Agilon and its pastures, Gathrimon and its pastures, in total four cities. From half the tribe of Manasseh, Tanith and its pastures, and Gathrimon and its pastures, in total two cities. This is a total of all cities for the clans of the remaining descendants of Kohath, ten cities with their pastures. To the descendants of Gershon, one of the clans of the Levites, from half the tribe of Manasseh, Golan and Bashan, the refuge city for a killer, and its pastures, and Beshethera and its pastures, to total two cities. From the tribe of Issachar, Kishia and its pastures, Deborah and its pastures, Jarmuth and its pastures, and Ganim and its pastures, in total four cities. From the tribe of Asher, Mishal, its pastures, Abnon and its pastures, Helkath and its pastures, and Rehob and its pastures, in total, four cities. From the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh and Galilee, the refuge city for the killer, and its pastures, Hamath Dor and its pastures, and Kartan and its pastures, in total, three cities. This is the total of all the cities of the Gershonites for their clans, 13 cities with their pastures. 
to the clans of the descendants of Merari, the rest of the Levites from the tribe of Zebulun, Jachmim and its pastors, Karta and its pastors, Nimna and its pastors, Nahala and its pastors, in total four cities. From the tribe of Reuben, Bezer and its pastors, Hayaz and its pastors, Kedemoth and its pastors, and Mephath and its pastors, in total four cities. From the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead, the refuge city for a killer, and its pastors. Mahanam and its pastures, Hezbron and its pastures, Jazer and its pastures, in total four cities. As for the cities of the descendants of the Merari for their clans, the remaining clans of the Levites, their total allotment was twelve cities. This is a total of all the cities of the Levites within the property of the Israelites, forty-eight cities with their pastures. Each of these cities had its pastures around it. This was the case for all these cities. The summary of the conquest is the next section, beginning with verse 43. The Lord gave to Israel all the land he had pledged to give to their ancestors. They took it over and settled there. The Lord gave them rest from surrounding danger, exactly as he had pledged to their ancestors. Not one of all their enemies held out against them. The Lord gave all their enemies into their power. Not one of all the good things that the Lord had promised to the house of Israel failed. Every promise was fulfilled.